don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Hey guys, we are back for another video. So let's jump right into this video. Um, so as you guys know, we are, well, oh, I'm sorry, we have been talking about the TD Jake situation as information comes available, obviously we will talk about it. Um, and that this is exactly what we are doing um, at this moment. So we were able to get um, some text messages that, um, another YouTuber shared on his channel with regards to text messages that were supposedly being shared between um, Mr. Um, I'm going to call him, what is it? Prophet Jordan. I was calling him Prophet M before, but anywho. Um, and like I stated, you guys have been, you know, sending me information with regards to um, Prophet Jordan. And I was able to you know, follow him and just see what's going on with regards to his story. Um, in these last few days, it seems like he's been very open and he's been sharing a lot of information. Um, however, um, I'm not sure what his intent is in terms of moving forward with this particular um, allegation. It is, I mean, he does state that he's getting some type of um, psychotherapy, which, hey, I totally agree with. Um, however, there is, and I spoke about that other YouTuber, um, Larry Reed, I believe his name is. He actually stated that he is a witness to um, a slew of text messages that were shared between um, Prophet Jordan and T.D. Jakes. Now, in Larry Reed's um, video, he pretty much described the messages as something that he needed to pretty much take a picture of and dissect, um, you know, in the comfort of his own privacy. Um, the way that he described it, I guess he, you know, pretty much snuck the picture. So we're, we'll get into that. Um, and I believe on his page, he was speaking about grooming. A lot of things he stated on his page to me was very unclear because while he seemed to support T.D. Jakes, it seemed that he had saw text messages that were a little bit cringy. Um, so I was a little bit unclear as to why he was so in support of a man um, in which he had already stated that he saw text messages that seemed to indicate that this young man was possibly being groomed by T.D. Jakes. Now, of course, this is all alleged. He hasn't admitted anything, but again, I'm going to get into the text messages um, Larry again did not share the full text messages. However, he however he did share one. But one of the things that he stated that was very interesting, Larry Reed said that he was actually contacted by TD Jakes. Well, he didn't say TD Jakes himself, but he did state that he was contacted by um, someone that is you know that works with TD Jakes or someone that works in his administration. Forgive me if I'm using the incorrect verbiage, but what they wanted to do was pay him a half a million dollars if he agreed to not talk about it. Um, so again, that was so unclear to me because he had not spoke about it. So I don't know if, did he get paid and now he's able to talk about it? I'm not understanding Larry Reed um, and some of the things that he's stating. So let's just jump right into this video. So in Larry Reed's video, he really made a very distinct comparison between two pastors, and that's Bishop Eddie Long, who is no longer with us, and also Bishop T.D. Jakes. Um, he also made an, a, an, a distinct um, connection between even their preaching styles and how they reacted when accusations came out. But, you know, obviously Bishop Eddie Long, he was pretty much accused 
with some of the similar things that T.D. Jakes is being accused with today. Um, and their actions have been very similar. And actually, Larry Reed was not the first one to call this out. You guys have called this out. Social media has called this out. Um, and we're just here to talk about it. So let's, um, you know, get into the situation. So the prophet basically stated, um, and I'm going off of another live that I saw of his, um, he started to talk about text messages and how um, the text messages were basically um, his understanding that something was not particularly that innocent in the correspondence that he was receiving from T.D. Jakes. Um, now, again, Larry with Larry... Larry, what am I calling this man? Larry Reed um, stated that he actually took his own pictures of the text messages because he wanted to, I guess, have them for his own reason, which I didn't understand because it seems that Larry Reed actually notified T.D. Jake's ministries or who's who's ever in his administrative unit or whoever oversees these type of instances. And he stated that he let them know that this was an allegation. So I'm not understanding why if you actually saw these text messages and you knew that there could be a possibly um, situation where someone was victimized, why you would let the person know what was to come. So I'm not understanding um, why it seems like Larry Reed is actually playing two sides. Again, he stated that the ministry was or had attempted to give him $500,000. So I'm just wondering what, you know, did he take the $500,000? Would it, was it maybe for a period of time? His commentary doesn't make sense to me. For one, he seems to be in support of the victim, but yet he's doubling back to the church to tell them what's going on. So that's a little bit weird to me. I'm not understanding why he would do that. Um, and maybe I'm missing something, but I, I just, it's just not clear to me, but yet he's also in, um, prophet Jordan's comments, basically saying, he support them. So I'm not sure how he supports two people. It seems like you're going to support one and just kind of stand back and see how the matter is going to unfold. I just, I don't know about this guy, Larry Reed. So let's get into these text messages. Okay, guys. So as you can see here on the screen, um, it says, and hopefully you can see it because it's very small. It says, thinking of you. And it is from May 26, 2016 at 2.32. I'm sorry, at 2.33 a.m. So this was the text message that was shared. And again, I mean, doesn't say much. Apparently there is a whole slew of text messages, but for some reason, this is the only one that was showed to the public because what is being stated is that the other text messages are more damaging. So I guess I'm just not understanding why was this text message shown if you were not going to show all of the text messages. So I'm not understanding what the angle is here. You're either going to show it or you're not. So you guys can look at this. It was sent at 2.33 in the morning, 5.26 of 2016. I'm looking in your eyes at you. I'm thinking of you. This is creepy as hell. Um, I don't know um, why another man would be sending another man, um, a text message like this, looking goofy saying, thinking of you, um, very, very creepy. So 
Again, this is pretty much all that was shown. Again, it looks very creepy, but it's just another man telling another man at 2.33 a.m. in the morning, I'm thinking of you. Or have you ever been swallowed? Okay, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.